What I've got here is a little project I've been working on and off for some time now. It's a method to procedurally draw and simulate pixel art lines. Let's start with the former. How to draw a line from point A to B. There's really no easy way to instruct the graphics card to, for example, fill this pixel with red color. What we can do, however, is create a simple triangular mesh, carefully placed so that after rasterization, it will be turned into the desired pixel, inevitably changing its color. Following this idea, we can use Bresenham's algorithm to generate a series of triangles from point A to B, which will result in a line. A huge benefit of this approach is that this line is an actual mesh living in the scene. So things like lighting, layering, and culling work out of the box. What's more interesting is that we don't even need to waste our CPU resources to generate this mesh. Instead, we can create just one triangle, connecting points A and B, and pass it to the GPU. Here, a custom geometry shader can create the necessary triangles. Okay, we can now render lines. Let's make them move. I'm gonna use a simple spring-based simulation inspired by this article on Reddit. Each line will be made up of nodes. Each of them will contain information about its parent node, desired angle and distance, and whether or not it should be fixed in place. Additionally, the entire line will be described by a control node, containing some common simulation properties. Finally, we're gonna create a mesh that represents these nodes, and render it using our line shader. Now, because I want to be able to simulate a large number of these nodes at the same time, I once again offload the computation to the GPU. To do that, I'm gonna gather all the nodes from all the lines that I want to simulate into two arrays, and pass them to a compute shader. It will run the simulation and produce a brand new array, containing the calculated positions for every node. The last thing we need to do is to apply these new positions to the corresponding vertices. We'll be doing that as we render them, using a vertex shader. And this is more or less how the simulation works. When it comes to the editor, each line is described by a dynamic line component, which allows me to edit the nodes and configure the simulation parameters. This line, for example, is extremely stiff. It's also possible to create branches like this. and to offset other sprites so that they follow the line. The biggest issue so far is that, since this is a custom GPU simulation, it can't really interact with normal physics. There's no easy way to make it collide with the player, for example. So to fake this effect, I've integrated it with Velocity Buffer from one of my previous devlogs. It's a screen space buffer that stores the current velocity of objects at a given point. I use it inside the simulation to transfer the momentum onto nodes. It's not exactly a collision, but it produces a good enough reaction. Still, the fact that mesh generation, simulation, and skinning all run on the GPU makes it possible to simulate thousands of nodes with very little cost. And of course, the whole thing can be disabled to support low-end hardware. And that's all I've got for you today. Thanks so much for watching, as always, and until next time. So if I ever want to create like cables hanging from the ceiling that will sway when the player touches them, I can easily do that. <laughs>